Awesome. Hello, everybody. Welcome back inside the Media Center here at the CPKC Women's Open. I am pleased to be joined by the two-time now major champion, Lilia Vu. Lilia, welcome to Vancouver and welcome back to the CPKC Women's Open. It has definitely been a fun couple of weeks for you since your win over in England. Just what has it been like reflecting on what your last major champion victory was like for you? I think it's definitely different. I think I can view golf in a different way now and just have fun and know that my game's good enough to be out here and just keep doing what I'm doing. What has gone on for you in the last two weeks? How have you kind of come down from the high that is winning a major championship like the AIG Women's Open? I still feel like me. I feel like nothing's really changed. The only thing is my dad tried to bribe me. He was basically saying if I want another major, we could get a cat. So I've been browsing for that. <laughs> A cat, is that something that was right before the major? That was a deal before the major? Yes, it was oh. a deal before the major. So I've been browsing on cats right now, kitties. What has the last two weeks for you? We Obviously, you took the week off uh, before this event, but what have, did you put the clubs down for a little bit just to give yourself some celebration time? Were you able to celebrate the major victory? We were able to celebrate that night, but not entirely with the rest of the team. So hopefully in the next coming weeks, we could all get together and celebrate. This is always such a quality event here, the CPKC Women's Open. What have you been focusing on? What have you been most excited about coming to Vancouver? Yeah, I've never been here. It's really beautiful. I'm excited to see the course. And I know the CPK always has, CPKC usually always has a good turnout. So I'm super excited for that. You finished T17 um, at the event last year. What do you take away from just being a part of an event like this, knowing that being in Vancouver for the first time, how excited are you? I'm very excited to be here, and I feel like everyone's excited for us to play here, too, so I think that brings the excitement to the tournament. All right, we'll open it up here. Adam, I'll start with you. Hey, Lily. Here. Um, you're number one in the world. Have you allowed yourself to realize that you are number one in the world in terms of just, like, my play has got me to this point, and I deserve to be the top-ranked golfer on the planet? I don't know if I'll ever feel like I deserve that, but I know that I put in a lot of work and I found that my game works best when I'm having fun and just doing my thing and not thinking too much about it and just playing one shot at a time and knowing that I can win. You, you talked about kind of putting in the work and I think at the AIG Women's Open, you talked about you know, kind of that midsummer stretch maybe didn't go the way you wanted with the back-to-back -back miscuts at the other majors. Was it kind of a mental thing or maybe a physical thing that you did to kind of turn things around after that midsummer stretch? I would say that's mentally. Um, I think it's 100% mental because I came into my last three week stretch with a different mindset of just playing my game and trying to be in contention. John? Hey, uh, John Chidley Hill from the Canadian Press. Welcome back to Canada. Thank you. Uh, what do you have to do to continue your momentum into this tournament? Just do the same thing, don't change anything. I feel like once you get up top, I feel like people either put a lot of pressure on themselves or try to change the entire thing, but I'm just gonna keep it the same way. <laughs> when you say keep it the same way, do you mean just like in terms of your day-to-day -day approach, like your activities off the course in terms of exercise and stretching, or, or what does that look like? Just doing the exact same thing. No need to just overdo it on the practice, no need to take the gas off the pedal too, so just, feel like I'm not number one in the world and just keep playing the same way I did before. We'll go in the back. What kind of things have changed for you off the course in terms of opportunities that have come your way that might not have been there before you were a double major winner? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been different, right? I won my first two events without any sponsorships. There's a lot of opportunities now, but I have my team that can handle that for me. It's definitely been really cool though, and it's nice to see that. I know we talked a little bit about kind of mentally. Um, I know Adam talked about kind of being number one in the world and how you mentally have to you know, not think about that when you're going out. What do you do to kind of stay in the present and stay the same Lilia week after week after week? I mean, it's still a learning process. I've never been in this position, but I really think if I just keep everything the same way, I'll turn out okay. And I have a really great team around me, so they're there to humble me at any moment. So. Have you leaned on anyone for any 
type of advice coming out of you know a two time major championship uh, champion? Have you leaned on any other players or any kind of past players for any advice? Um, you know, handling everything that comes from this. Not yet. I ha this is my first week back from winning, so <laughs> I haven't run into a lot of people, but I think there will be maybe Stacy Lewis will give me a lot of insight on that. <laughs> I think so too. And speaking of Stacy, obviously this is the last qualifying event for Americans for the U.S. Solheim Cup. As someone who has already clinched their spot on this team, what does it mean to kind of look at the team start to come into formation? I think it gets me really excited because I know basically all the girls and I know how good they are. So it makes me excited that we get to go and compete for our country with such a strong team. So I think it'll be really fun. And then uh, just focusing here back in Vancouver, obviously we've been trying to play this course for a couple years now. The fact that we are here, have you been out there at all? What do you think of the course and you know, what will you be focusing on to make it fit your game? Yeah, I've d I heard, I'm seeing the course later today, but I've heard that the course is playing tough and really demanding off the tee and the greens are gonna be firm. So I think it's gonna set up a nice challenge for us. Absolutely. Any other questions here? I think that will do it. Thank you yeah. for coming through, Aaliyah. Thank you.